joining us today. My name is Dick Hill, and I am a vice president here at ARC Advisory Group. Today I have Craig Resnick, ARC vice president, and part of the team that developed the HMI SCADA software evaluation and selection guide. Hello, Craig. Hi, Dick. Great to be here with you today. Now, the first question I have is, what was the motivation behind creating such a guide document? Thanks, Dick. The motivation behind creating such a guide document is due to the fact that HMI SCADA software is becoming more mission critical, especially with new technologies such as IAOT taking hold. HMI SCADA software's impact can be felt from the factory and plant floor through production management and IT, including communications to devices ranging from sensors to both local and cloud-based servers. New technologies such as cloud, virtualization, mobility, and analytics are becoming increasingly important capabilities for end users and OEMs who deploy the latest HMI SCADA software systems to consider. At the same time, HMI SCADA software is increasing its role as an integration and business intelligence hub, providing connectivity and visualization to business, engineering, to the supply chain, and to MES software systems. In addition to its traditional display and control role for plant equipment and automation systems located throughout factories and plants globally. Well, thanks, Craig. Uh, now tell us about what are some of the strategic issues that are impacting users of HMI SCADA software today. You know, Dick, ARC has been researching the HMI SCADA software market for many years and understands the challenges that organizations have to overcome. This helps to determine where additional insight may be needed and the features that HMI SCADA software solutions require to be a good fit for each user's specific requirements. This includes understanding the solution's technology and architecture, knowing how the solution integrates with business, engineering, the supply chain, MES, plant equipment, and automation systems, and determining if the solution leverages new technologies such as cloud, virtualization, mobile, and analytics. Also important is determining what is the supplier's long-term vision, how viable is the supplier's business, and what is the supplier's local and global presence. Other issues include knowing what operating systems are leveraged by the solution, how does the supplier deal with software upgrades and patch support, what is the version release frequency, what are the hardware platform requirements, and what are the supplier's primary support models, such as training and services. Okay, Craig. Um, now, based on these strategic issues, what are, uh, that you identify, what are some of the selection guide criteria and, in, and impacts user, uh, users of HMI SCADA software? Based on those strategic issues, the selection criteria that impacts users of HMI SCADA software ranges from supplier's technology and architecture to its projected business viability. The selection criteria takes into account a supplier's local and global presence along with its long-term vision, which has a significant effect on the evaluation process. Other important selection criteria for users of HMI SCADA software include evaluating the hardware platform and operating system software requirements, determining how upgrades and patches are managed, and what is the frequency of version releases. A supplier support model, training offerings, and services portfolio are important selection criteria also, as they are becoming more critical than ever in an era of reduced user in-house staffing levels. Well, that sounds good, uh, Craig. Uh, can you give me more details on uh, what is on the criteria list? Uh, sure, Dick. Examples of what is on a criteria list include market presence, which looks at market share by geography and industry. Also, organizations' financials, which includes business and product line revenues, and regional coverage, which includes what geographic locations have a local support infrastructure. Technology and architecture criteria includes defining HMI SCADA software platform features and how they support various functionality, such as analytics. Platform specification criteria includes defining operating system and hardware platform requirements, what add-on apps are available, such as MES and historians, and the ease of connecting to other platforms, such as ERP. Functional criteria includes, for example, which HMI and production management capabilities are converged. Service criteria includes defining implementation, integration, training, 
maintenance, and support services. Leadership criteria includes defining the new technologies, sustainability, and both technical and strategic partnerships. Finally, criteria regarding defining an organization's complementary products, service partnerships, and business models are also factored in. Well, that's a very comprehensive criteria list, Craig. Uh, what else would be covered in the HMI SCADA Software Evaluation and Selection Guide? Well, the selection guide will cover a detailed list of HMI SCADA software trends, especially regarding IAOT and Industry 4.0, along with mobility, multi-touch screens, big data, cloud computing, and service-based solutions. In addition, analytics, virtualization, BYOD, or bring your own devices, and operating systems are covered. Also covered are what do HMI software users seek, industry and regional trends, and strategies for buyers of HMI software. There are factors that both contribute to and inhibit HMI SCADA software adoption that are included, as well as both qualitative and quantitative analysis of all the major suppliers of HMI SCADA software, supplementing the selection guide with global, regional, and industry market shares. This provides the user with a full comprehensive set of tools to help evaluate and select the best HMI SCADA software solution that specifically fits their application's own unique criteria. Well, again, thank you, Craig, uh, for the explanation of the HMI SCADA Software Evaluation and Selection Guide. I want to also thank the listeners uh, for their interest in this topic. If you want more information on what is available on this topic or other topics, please go to ARC's website, that is uh, arcweb.com, uh, click on Products and Services,